viewers, welcome to today's lesson. This is from three mathematics under commercial and digits too. But specifically here we are going to look at income tax. And uh, income tax is tax that is given to the government by an employee from their personal income. Before we look at how to calculate income tax, let us look at the terminologies that we are going to come across in this topic. The first terminology is uh, A, we can talk about what we call taxable, taxable income. Taxable income, it is the total amount of money that the government uses to calculate tax. And for you to arrive at taxable income, you will always take the basic salary. You add all the allowances given. Then you minus what we call nominal rent. Sometimes they call it the rent page. A nominal rent is for those people who are given free housing, for which they have to pay some amount of money towards maintenance of those houses. Apart from taxable income, another term that we are going to come across is what we call gross tax. Gross tax. And a gross tax is tax that is calculatable from the tax brackets, which we are going to see how it is calculated. And according to business gross tax, it is the tax that an individual is supposed to pay. But individuals do not end up paying what we call gross tax. They end up paying what we call net tax. Why? Because the government offers what we call relief. So individuals do not pay gross tax. They pay net tax. And for us to arrive at net tax, we take the gross tax, i.e., the tax from the tax brackets. Then we take what we call relief. And that will give us what we call net tax. Then number B. We are also going to come across what we call net pay, also known as net salary. How do we arrive at net pay? That is the total amount of money that is after paying tax and other deductions. Then net pay is going to be equal to taxable income, taxable income, which we have already calculated here. Then we less what we call taxable income minus what we call total deductions. Minus total deductions. And deductions are all the amounts which are going to be taken out of the taxable income. Then you get or to arrive at what the employee is going to take home. So to help us understand how all this is arrived at, let us look at the question there. The question reads, the table below shows the rates of taxation in a certain year. We have income in Kenyan pounds per annum, that is per year. We also have the rate of taxation in shillings per Kenyan pound. Then we have the brackets here, that is, we have the minimums here, we have the maximums, and of course we are given the rates in shillings. Kenyan pounds. Then the information given is in that period, Juma was earning a basic salary of Kenyan shillings 21,000 per month. In addition, he was also entitled to a house allowance of 9,000 per month and a personal relief of Kenyan shillings 10,56 or 1,056 shillings per month. So the requirement is calculate how much income tax Juma paid that month. Then number two, Juma's other deductions per month were as follows. We have society contribution of shilling 2000. We have loan repayment of 2500. Then we are required to calculate his net salary per month. Now, let us look at the solution. Let us look at the solution to this question. So the only thing we know about this person is the basic salary we have. We have the house allowance, and of 
suppose we have the relief, which we don't choose to calculate what we call taxable income. So the first thing we need to calculate is what we call taxable income. And for us to get taxable income, we take the basic salary, we add all the allowances, all the allowances, minus nominal rent. And in this case, nominal rent has not been mentioned anywhere. We only have one allowance, which is house allowance. And therefore, to get the taxable income for Juma, we are going to take the basic salary of 21,000. We add the house allowance of 9,000, and this gives us Kenya shillings, 30,000, and this is per month. By so doing, we have calculated what we call taxable income. But the question is, on, uh, is about income tax. But we cannot calculate income tax without getting the taxable income. After getting the taxable income, we must always go to the table. On the left hand side, we look at the units that the table has. Remember, it is in Kenyan pounds per annum, and therefore, for the purpose of the tax calculation, we should always change the figure we have here to the figure that is appearing on the table. That is, we are supposed to take Kenya shillings 30,000 per month, then we change it into Kenyan pounds per annum. To do that, we are going to take 30,000, we divide by 20, that is, we are changing them into Kenyan pounds, then per annum we multiply by 12, and this one is going to give us Kenyan pounds 18,000 and this is per, per annum. Having done that, you come and identify where this amount is lying. The 18,000, 18,000 lies between 15,601 and 15,500. Since all these amounts are not fit in the first bracket, we are going to tax it. Follows. Now, the first slab, the first slab, we are going to tax the maximum, which is the 900. Then now, second slab, to get the amount of money we are going to tax in the second slab, we are going to get the maximum second minus maximum first. If you take the 800 minus 900, we are going to get 900. Then now we go to the third slab. That is the third slab. To get the amount we are going to tax in the maximum here, which is 11,700, minus the maximum 7,800, we are going to get 900. Then to the fourth slab, the fourth slab, we look at this is our fourth slab. We take the maximum here, minus maximum there, so that we get, that is 15, 600 minus 11, 700, we also get that 900. We are supposed to move to the slab where our money is lying. So what we are going to do in the fifth slab, we have to calculate what we call the remaining amount that we are going to tax. There are anyway, how do we get the remaining amount? Get the remaining amount that we are going to tax here. In the first bracket, we have taxed at 900 out of 18. Second, at 900. Third, at 904. So we add all this, then we less from 1800. And in this case, if you take this to multiply by 4, you are going to get 15600. You less from 18,000, we are going to get the remaining as 2400. Then from there, we are going to try and Tax anyway. In the first bracket, the rate is going to be two shillings, and this one gives us uh, 7800. Then in the second bracket, the tax is actually the rate is three shillings. So we take that 900 times three, we are going to get shilling 11700. Then in the third slab, the rate is four shillings in every 20 box. So in this case, if you take that 900 times 4, we are going to get what we call 15,600. 
Then we have 3900 times the rate in the fourth bracket. This one is going to give us 19, 9500. Then the last one, which is the fifth slab, we take 2400. We multiply by the rate in that bracket, which is 7. And this one is going to give us uh, that is 16,800. So if you add all this amount in here, we are going to get what we call gross tax. In Kenyan shillings per year. So if you add 7,800, 11,700, 15,600, 19,500, plus 16,800, we are going to get Kenyan shillings 71,400, and that is per, per annum. So we are supposed now to take the gross tax in Kenya shillings per annum and convert it into per month before we can go down and calculate what we call the income tax that you have paid. In this case now, allow me to grab this upper part. Allow me to grab this part. Then we try and now we go this way. We have the gross tax. We need the gross tax per month. So what we do is the gross tax per annum which is 71, 400 divided by 12 months, and this one is going to give us Kenyan shillings. This one is going to give us Kenyan shillings, 5,159 Kenyan shillings. But that is not what. We need, we need what we call net tax. And of course, the net tax in this case for the income tax is going to be for the gross tax. The gross tax minus 30. Meaning, we only talk about relief after getting our gross tax from the tax brackets. So our gross tax according to the table is actually 50, 59 minus our relief, which is uh, 1,000. And the amount here is going to be Kenya shillings. The amount here is going to be Kenya shillings. That is, uh, we have 15, 59 minus 10, 56. And this one is going to give us, that is, uh, 50, 59 minus, minus uh, 10, 56. And this one is going to give us uh, this one is going to give us that is a uh, uh, no, no, no. mistake here. If you take 11, uh, that is 71 400 divided by 12, you are going to get 59 50. 59 50. This is now Kaila Shades per month. And for us to be able to get our net tax or the income tax, we are going to get the 59.50, that is uh, the gross tax per month, minus uh, the relief, which is, uh, that is 59.50 minus 10.56, which gives us Kenya shillings, 4,894. Per month. And this is the amount of money that Juma pays as income tax or what we can call net tax. Another thing that we are supposed to calculate is or part C of the question. Part C of the question says Juma's other deductions, that means apart from income tax. Juma's other deductions per month were as follows. We have society contributions of 2,000, laundry payments of 2,500. We are required to calculate his net tax and his net salary, I mean. So, to get our net salary, net salary, we are going to have what we call taxable income. That will be in Kenya shillings minus what we call Total deductions minus total deductions. 
So let us get our total deductions. Our total deductions, we are going to begin with our next tax as our first deduction of 4894. Then we add society contribution of 2000. Then of course we have our loan repayment of 2500. And the total deductions in this case we are going to have is 9394, that is 9,394. Anyway, this is our total deduction in Kenya shillings per month. So, in order to get what we call net pay or net salary, we are going to get the total taxable income in Kenya shillings, which is 30,000. We minus total deduction of 9394. And this one is going to be equal to that is 30,000 minus 9,394 is going to give us 20,606 Kenyan shillings per month, and that is what Juma enjoys at the end of the month. Otherwise, how we calculate uh, taxable income, how we calculate net tax or income tax, and also for those who are watching our channel for the first time, kindly subscribe, hit the bell below so that anytime we do a video like this, you'll be able to be notified in time and you'll be able to benefit. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.